Nope. Guys, we've lost her. She's not in the car. She's not in the car. I repeat. She is not in... Keep going. Keep going. Sharp, sharp left. And we're out. We're out. We're out. We're... <laughs> We did it. Ah. So we get for kissing that Vort guy. But fine. I'm quick to forgive. <laughs> That's the weirdest way I've ever seen anyone get into the passenger seat. Why don't you climb through the windshield from my side? Ah, I mean, windshield. It's to assert dominance. Oh, I see. Thought she was holding the handbrake. <laughs> kind of looks like she's holding the handbrake when you glance at it. <laughs> Whatever the passenger is. Holding that grave with it there. This is a bat, man. Don't do it. Oh, jeez. They made oh. these things to last, didn't they? Well, I mean, hey, the loading screen kind of. You can see it from White Forest. <laughs> nice. We're heading the right way. Smoke up ahead. One of those advisor pods. Back in the citadel, those things we saw. We weren't in a rush or anything though, right? I don't think it was very important what you were carrying. Where did you put that USB drive anyways? I should probably know in case, you know, something bad happens to you. Like, well, you know, you dying, right? We found that out earlier. I did not hold down W there, but shift apparently still makes it go for quite a while. Why is Alex important in this story? So the main protagonist doesn't feel lonely. Also, since Gordon cannot actually talk... There it is again. We need someone, you know, describing what's happening. There's an advisor around here someplace. I could use some advice. Looks like we weren't the first to find this place. What if she's not real? Whoa, what if Alex only exists in his imagination? Is this like Fight Club all over again? Oh no. Oh. The board said we should kill them before they hatch. Wait. Hmm. This one didn't hatch? Ah, life support. What do you say, Gordon? Shall we pull the plug? Sorry about this. Hmm. Maybe I can get this open. There we go. Over to you, Gordon. I can I... Whoa. Whoa. Am I the baddie? Dumbledore dies, Chet. There's another spoiler for you. The ring does get destroyed at the end. Yeah. Believe it or not. They make it to Mount Doom. <sighs> it's kind of cute. Uh, ah, dude. I take it back. 
What the? Oh, body slam! Oh, never mind. No, never mind. Never mind. I thought this was some sort of wrestling move. Oh my god. Gordon. Thank god you're all right. That thing was hurt. Did you see it? I can only imagine what it would have done if. Uh oh. Sounds like it called its friends. Do you think they died to guns? That would be hella uh, convenient, not gonna lie. What the hell is that, Loco? I don't know, man. I think I've seen it in a video once. Ooh. Got my favorite weapon back, boys. How can I aim while I'm doing this? I mean, I already have trouble aiming. Nice. I've hit about half of these things so far. Being generous. Don't step on me. You can step on her, she has blood armor. The one gun. Or one bullet. Okay, step in the minivan. Oh, okay, fine, we'll go with it. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! Oh. Boost. Oh. Okay. Boost. I'm almost there! I think the tunnel will probably be safe. <sighs> we weren't there yet. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, we'll take a turn. Yeah. Oh shit, I can boost in reverse! Hoo! <sighs> I don't think that's good for my engine. You thought that was awesome? Us almost dying? Hey, do something! Nice, dude. I don't know where we're going, but, um... Oh, hit him! Yep, I got him. There's another one. In between train tracks! That was bait. That was bait. That one was bait.
This way. Wait. Oh. This is how I drive my car in real life. Yes. That was actually pretty good. I don't think that was too bad. Since you brought that chopper in on your tail, you want to maybe help us take it down? Oh, with pleasure. That was actually a really fun little chasing sequence. Oh. It's not safe here. Really? What gave that away? Was it the guy that just spoke to us dying? It's not safe here, she says. Look, well, apparently in France, it's extremely common for people to hit each other's bumpers and push each other around while parking. What? <laughs> they just bump into your bumper? They're taking the word bumper a little bit too serious. I'm pretty sure when your car's on the handbrake, it's not going to roll around, man. Wait, they purposely leave the handbrake off? Why would you park your car and not put on the, the handbrake? So you shift it out of gear and don't put the handbrake on? And then you just cross your fingers and hope it didn't roll down the hill when you come back? <laughs> you don't use the handbrake when you're parked? Do you leave it in gear? Why would you not use the handbrake? Wait, now you're making it, now you guys are making it it sound like I'm the weirdo for using the handbrake when I park. I always use the like it's <laughs> You leave it in park when you park? Right, but that turns the handbrake on. Doesn't it? <laughs> like, when you put it in park, you're definitely not pushing it around, though. I don't know exactly how it works. Either they leave it in a gear or whatever. To f I don't know how, uh, how an automatic car handles that. I don't know much about cars, but... You definitely can't roll it around when it's in car. Or when it's in park. It just needs a bigger nudge? Right. I don't even think I can have my car... Uh, in neutral when I park it. Like the... Automatic handbrake comes on for sure. I think that's a feature, not a bug, man. <laughs> so how am I going to kill this thing without a rocket launcher? I think I need a rocket launcher now. He's got on Zeus. So wait, is this actually a thing in some countries that you purposely allow other people to roll around your car? That's not a... That's not a troll. That's a thing. Thank you, by the way, Zeus, for the 42. That's really a thing. That sounds incredibly dangerous. Only in Paris? In France and Italy, it's not uncommon? Yeah, the parking brake is set automatically, right? On more modern cars? 
Maybe I'm supposed to yeet these things back at it. Oh. No, that's not what I need. Loco, I'm from France. Never heard of it. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, that works. It sounds like a really fucking bad idea, though, man. To not put your car in park when parking. But I guess they're gonna, you know... They're gonna get a couple more spaces in every parking lot, huh? Loco, this is how it's done. Common parking in Paris? <sighs> that spot's too small, bro. That spot is too... Okay, let's watch the video. So they push it? Das kann doch gar nicht. What the fuck? So he's touching bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper? They're not really pushing though. Yeah, they're definitely bumping. Yo, that's... Yeah, it is. It does. It does kind of look like Mr. Bean. Yeah, it really does. It's very efficient, I guess. Really maximizing the space. Well, by the time they return, I guess they assume that the other guys have already left. So then they can easily leave, and there's going to be some more space again. I don't know. I guess, otherwise, I guess you leave in the same way. <sighs> I'd be pretty pissed, man, if, uh, yeah, someone's been fucking pushing my car around. <laughs> Glad to see you guys. <laughs> Man, that sucks. That was amazing. <laughs> you just have like your security cameras and like you fucking just see someone do, do, like you just see them bumping like seven times. We need to get back on the road, but our engine's shot to hell. I don't suppose you got any tools for working on cars. Tools? <laughs> got a whole shop over here. Come on, we'll get you set up. Hmm. Loco's never driving in Paris? I've actually driven to Paris before. I remember Google Maps. Google Maps sent me over the Jean Elysees roundabout. Um, let me show you guys a picture of this thing. This is a disaster of a fucking roundabout, okay? Google Maps pretended like this was the fastest route to get here. Here's an aerial view. This is the, uh, the Arc de Triomphe right over here. This is the roundabout. For some reason, they have never bothered putting any markings on it. So it's a fucking free-for-all. <laughs> you probably know how they generally drive in big cities, right? People generally drive very aggressive. So I think the trick with these sort of things is to just stay on the outside and just wait your turn. Because if you're stuck in the middle... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too bad, man. That's really, uh, yeah, that, that's your life now. <sighs> you can bump your way out, I guess. 
Yeah, we saw this one a little while ago already, Drone Rush. We talked about this one. BMW starts selling heated seat subscriptions for $18 a month. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, thanks. Wasn't planning on buying a BMW anyways. We're good, dude. A subscription for heated seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw that one too. The Kickstarter for an Arabic jacket for motorcyclists that had a subscription. So it's a, it's a, it like, it's like an automated thing that detects if you're flying through the air, I suppose. And it's supposed to inflate by the time that you hit the ground, right? Or preferably before that. But it's subscription based, and apparently it only works if you've paid your fucking subscription. Monetizing death. Great idea. Well, that could be a problem. You hear that auto gun going off out there? But it, I think it was a Kickstarter, right? So I don't think it actually. I don't know if they ever actually sold it, because that sounds like a lawsuit in the making. It's an actual thing. It actually exists now, because this was like two years ago. What do you think, Gordon? Maybe while I'm getting the car fixed up, you can see about clearing. Could you link that money? Oh my God! It is an actual thing. So wait, you pay 400 bucks? Buy the vest, download the in and box phone app, create your account and choose your $12 plan. Oh no, dude. So what? Okay, so if I'm not subscri if I'm subscribed, wait, wait, wait. Do I have to subscribe? You can either buy it, blah, 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 and serve as one time or choose for a monthly or annual subscription. Wait, this is different though. It says over here, the goal with offering a subscription is to lower the initial in financial barrier. The subscription model entitles you to a new module ev after three years. I don't think this one might be... That doesn't sound too bad if they send you a new one after three years for the same thing. If I suspend my subscription and forget to reactivate it, will the vest still detect a crash and inflate? No. Because in the first place, you won't be able to turn it on into write ready status before you write. It will not. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Fuck this. Fuck everything about that. All the fresh zombies coming out of City 17 have kept them pinned down. It's just a matter of time till the troops start pushing this way. If you think you're up to it, we'll let you out there. Huh. He's always up for it. Right, Bro, imagine you need to go into your car and turn on the airbag manually every time you get in. Like, I understand that it's not a bad idea, right? But, um, by the 12th time you've got that vest on, you'll forget turning it on. We got a trap door up here where I can let you over to the other side. That way you'll get to see the gun before it sees you. Don't give BMW any more ideas. <laughs> you get a monthly subscription for your car airbag. Oh my god. Good luck taking out that auto gun. Yeah, I don't know if we're heading forward. So with some things we're definitely making progress, but uh Hey guys! Woo. Very wet sound. Eighteen dollars as well, dude. Eighteen dollars for a heated seat subscription?
Like, it's ridiculous that that is a thing in the first place. But $18. That's... That's significant. So I guess in their mind, right, they were probably thinking about, like... So I know that Tesla has, des has done this as well in the past, where you can, like, buy rear heated seats for, like, 300 bucks, right? And I guess they heard of that at BMW, and they were like, you know what? People only really use heated seats for, like, you know, four months a year, five months a year, three months, whatever, right? They only use it for a little bit. So what about rather than selling it for 300 bucks? We'll just... Make it a s- oh, no, no, no. It's still so shitty. I don't like software locking things. So silly. Tesla still does that though with some things where you can get like uh, acceleration boosts and stuff. Like you can literally get a faster car by spending like 2,000 bucks. It's pretty silly. So people are gonna jailbreak your fucking BMW? Is that is that the next move? <laughs> I don't know if you want to be jailbreaking your car, but there's definitely people that are doing that <laughs> to unlock permanent units. <laughs> I don't think this is progression, guys. I don't think we're making a move forward. Jailbreaking cars is an actual thing? My god. I don't want to be running some shady software <laughs> on my car. Uh oh, oh. I don't know, man. It sounds kind of dangerous, but maybe I'm mistaken. Right, but updating maps is a little bit different. But yeah, I guess that is the, the start of it. Yeah, 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 I see. Oh, shit. Whoa, what is that? Am I stuck? Yeah, very stuck. Don't get excited, shit. No. I think that auto gun is killing everything, yeah. Yo, bro, you're you're on fire. Okay, 69 health. That's good. You okay, bud? Oh jeez. Yo! Okay, I quick save while holding down control. Bro, can you stop making so much noise? You're scaring my viewers away. No, I cannot crawl. YOLO?
Dude, this barrel is fucking OP. You dealt one that way. It's your gameplay that scares us, Loco. Oh shit. Hello, guys. Guys, crazy suggestion, right? But what if, right? Bear with me. What if... If you spent like $50,000 on a car, right? What if, bear with me, it will just have heated seats? That sounds like, I know, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. I know, that's, that's, no. That sounds unreasonable. I know, I know. <laughs> that's a crazy concept. Cars as a service. Oh god, I hate everything about it. Yeah, Apple is still rumored to be making a car. That's gonna be something, man. You want an extra steering wheel? Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Like buying a game and then, yeah, keeping it forever. Maybe I'm the old school one, man. Maybe I'm the one living in the past. Maybe a heated steering wheel subscription should be a thing, too. You get a pre-order bonus. First 10,000 orders, get a heated steering wheel. <laughs> you get the Audi battle pass. <laughs> During Christmas time, they will have offers. Black Friday sale on your heated steering wheel. Yeah, it sounds depressing, but also nobody would be surprised. I made it, guys. Good job, dude. You played yourself. Why does it take like 17 bullets to kill that? But one hit with a crowbar. What kind of crowbar is this? This guy tried to out crowbar me. What the hell, man? Does he not know who I am? I'm the crowbar master. Is this the automated gun? What I do with it? Oh, okay. Here. Well, that's one way to get it done. Whoa, I blasted my way to the other side. Whee! Superhero death for that one zombie. Good guy, Loco.
Come on back and we'll get going. I'm right here, dude. What do you mean? Hey, what's going on, Itchy? Come on, Gordon, get in. What did you do? Not only did they help me fix the car, they threw in a bonus. Donation confirmed. One sec. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We've hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. I would so like some help. When you see your dashboard light up, you're going to want to stop and investigate. Okay. All right. Well, we'll try. Hey, thank you very much, Doctor Fuss. He says, "What has Valve got in common with Uranium 238? By the time they get to the third Half-Life, 13 and a half billion years have passed." <sighs> are we? Yes, we are. I think we will probably have a Half-Life 3 before 13.5 billion years go by. I think so. According to the radar, it looks like there's a supply cache. 235 uranium is your favorite? Yeah. I've never thought of my favorite uranium. You're not looking so well. What do you want me to do? I don't understand. There's a supply cache right here. It must be this van. Oh. <laughs> uh, step back, uh, Alex. Cleared up that little problem. What's going on, Thort? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Don't know if this is the best way of doing it. There we go. Probably not hit shift every time I start driving. Let's do it. Let's do it. I agree. Hey, something on the radar. Hope you enjoy Half-Life like me when I was 10 years old. <laughs> this game came out some time ago, actually, man. This game originally released in 2004. So it's been a little bit. Ooh, I gotta find the code. Six, not okay, doesn't work. Uh Grenados? Where do I put my grenades? Dude, there's a rocket launcher. I think I need the rocket launcher. Come on, bud. You can just hook your crowbar over the edge. Just break it open, man. Like, we have so many different... Okay, I gotta get to the high ground somehow. Wait, no. This is 
I don't think this is this solution, but... <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, since there is a box of grenades over here, what I think I'm supposed to do is like this. But it would be fun if I could boost my way up there. It's a more boring approach, I guess. <laughs> He's doing it on purpose. I mean, jumping straight to the solution, which would probably not be, you know. <laughs> Rocket launcher. That'll come in handy. Alex loves it whenever I find weapons. There is another cache close by, but... I think I'm good. Can we just go? Was I supposed to loot that other cache too? Hey, something on the radar. I don't know if it matters. A rest in peace achievement? I don't care about achievements, dude. My achievement is completing the game. Having a completed playthrough up on YouTube. Being able to tell others I've played the video game too, so I'm now finally part of the Cool Kids Club, right? Hello, fellow G-Man connoisseurs. Hello, fellow G-Manners. How do Half-Life people refer to one another? Hello, G-Men enjoyers. This could be that sounds a little Keep suspicious, but... So many ways to die out here. Hello, G-Units. Virgins? No. No. I don't want to look for the freaking thing. I don't want to. Wait, you're saying there's a secret handshake for Half-Life enjoyers? It's may uh, maybe it's just called gamers because everyone's already played it. That's true. Am I missing things? It's a trap. Gordon, come on, get inside. If you insist, oh, no. Am I missing things? No, 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 I'm skipping things. I did find a couple of those crates, but I don't know if I need another one. Maybe I'll regret it here in a moment, I don't know. It's a trap! Half-Life and Joyers greet each other by hooking crowbar. Hooking crowbar sounds like an innuendo, man, but now I know. I don't even own a crowbar. How embarrassing is that? How many of these guys do I need to shoot? There's so many. Did I just keep it respawning or am I crazy?
Headshots are insta kills, but kind of tricky. I do have uh, the crossbow. Oh, actually, I got some rounds for it again. I didn't have. Uh... Those jumpy guys. You're talking about us. They're still after the data packet. Classic drop shot. <laughs> okay. Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> Calm down. Am I gonna shoot my missile launcher indoors? Yes. Yes, I am. God, these hunters are tough. Don't know if that's a great idea, but uh, it's an idea. It's another one. Where is he? Leave the lady alone! This place is a death trap. <laughs> Too much. Let's get moving before they send more. Oh yeah, yeah. For some reason the house is not really too bothered by it though. The walls and everything are still kind of okay. Love to see that man. They don't build houses like that anymore. You wouldn't want to hang out with someone who uses rocket launchers indoors? What do you mean, bro? That's what cool people do. What about guys that shoot boxes to open them? Ah! I shot so many of those things indoors that I don't have any resources anymore right now to shoot them outdoors. It's okay. I have a car. Yeah, but it was a force field. Wasn't there a force field this way too? I don't actually know. Do your magic. Power source for the shields. Huh. I haven't skimped on security either. Let me see if I can disable the shields and get you closer to the reactor. Smart. Okay. We've only done this about 500 times. Here goes. Amazing. You did it. <sighs> Sorry, Gordon. This thing's fried. Since I can't help you in there, why don't I stand watch outside while you disable the power set? We've had enough surprises for one day. One day? I think I've had enough surprises for a lifetime, dude. 
Alex lives a very adventurous life. This is why uh, I've chosen Fort instead, guys. Like, how am I ever gonna have Alex in my life and, you know, make her happy if this is the casual day that she usually experiences? If this is just another day at the office. There's no more combine between here and White Forest. Mm -mm -mm. It's down. Thirty. Ah, oh, shit. My speedometer is not working. I have no idea. Oh, really? We go that way? Boost. She got very excited for almost getting killed by hitting a tree. 